I love y'all. Can, can, can we, on, on the count of three, you know what we gotta do. Come on, let's do it like we just do back in the day. Let's do it like we just do back in the day. Back in the day, back in the day. One, two, three. I thought it was excellent. Um, I did a lot of tearing up just because of the situation. It felt so real and the actor did an excellent job making it feel like these are actual situations that um, they were just portraying on the stage. So I thought it was excellent, especially to see so many kids in the audience. I thought that was great that they could pull from this experience and hopefully take it back to their schools and just pass on what they learned and could intervene if they see these situations happen and stand up for other kids. So. She said it all. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What did you think about Sue bringing a play like this to so I thought it was such a great opportunity in, to bring something like this to her home state. This is where you start and then you move out. Let the people spread the word and you move out. I thought they was very great. They did a very good job and I really enjoyed the play. Um, I thought it was excellent. It was my second time seeing it and I still was amazed by every delivery. Okay, so wait a minute. You said this your second time seeing it. What in the world? You knew what was going on. Why did you come? Why did you come back? No. <laughs> I came back because I want to support the arts and I also want to support local business owners, even though she's not local to me, but support um, black businesses also, especially in the arts. You want to take these shirts out, wear them, and spread the message. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was awesome. I've been following Sue on Facebook for quite some time, and I couldn't believe she was bringing the play right here to our city. I couldn't miss out this opportunity, the topic, how befitting what's happened recently in our surrounding counties right. with bullying. Right. It was a right on time message, and so we're just so glad to have been a part. Oh, wow. I was kind of a tag along, but I'm so glad I came, and it was, I mean, it was absolutely excellent. I mean, it was one of those plays like uh, that, you know, Tyler Perry would bring on. I mean, it had it had emotion, it had it had drama, it had excitement, it had information that was knowledgeable to uh, current events, and so I mean, it was just great. It was great. It really was. Should have been here. Should have yeah. been here. Um, small towns. I know she's from Williamsburg, you know, and and from King Street in that area. But small towns can produce big things too. So. I'm, I'm kind of glad that it just came to this city too, I'm so glad. and uh, looking forward to it, you know, going other places too. Yeah. They definitely should have been here. I believe that our city has been impacted. I believe it's a key to dialogue taking place in our city, and I'm looking to see more discussions. Absolutely, especially with the hashtag Beautiful oh, Minds. Yeah, beautiful Minds. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, what makes you think about it? Um, you know, I, I was just talking to my wife that when I was growing up, I was bullied. I was bullied to the point where I missed school, uh, stayed out of school for three weeks. Um, she was telling me that she was bullied. I mean, it's it's going on more than we know, and for us to bring it in a play form that brings that message, I mean, it's it's really it's really good. Relevant because, and much needed. Yeah, it was an amazing play, especially what's going on right now in the school system. I definitely uh, think it'll help the kids and everybody that came out get a different perspective on what's really going on behind the scenes at home with the kids and all that. I'm actually one of the promoters for the play. Um, my name is DJ Bezo. I loved it. Definitely going to spread the word and wherever she's taking it, I'll be there to support. Always. 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 Tell me what you thought about Beautiful Mind. It was a great play. It was very encouraging. Uh, for anybody who's been through bullying, you need to see this play. It's a great idea, and it's coming from Williamsburg County. Hey, that's an even better idea. My name is Ed Wilson. I was born and raised in a small town called Elliott, South Carolina. Uh, I'm originally now residing in Columbia, South Carolina. My wife and I saw this play when they were in King Street. So we told ourselves we definitely had to go back to support. The play was phenomenal when we saw it in King Street. It was amazing tonight. We brought our youth group out and some people back from our hometown came out and watched the play as well. Sue is doing an amazing job. Her cast was amazing. Anytime she has something going on, we're going to definitely try to support. And it sends a message 
the bullying, it has to stop. She's sending a great message, um, and, and she got to keep doing what she's doing. Man. She's making moves, and, and I appreciate her for doing what she's doing. So, love it. To him, she, I, I'm so glad that they put on this show because it was very cool. It was awesome. It was a lot of action, and it was very cool. What did you like about it? I like when um, well, I like when they um, the dad came up and told him about his bullying, and then the principal had talked to him to the sense and told him you need to get your daughter first. That's I like. So about the play is treat other people how you want to be treated, and um, do not do not tease other people. Well, that was amazing. I've been with here for over two years, and this has been the best play. And what it was, it touched people. It really touched people's heart. It really, because it, it's something they can relate to. It was very good. The cast was good. The crew was good. It was amazing. They, you got, you, you all have did a wonderful job. We need more of this. I'm Gabriel Daniel Harvin. This needs to be addressed. You guys need to do this at schools, colleges. This was something that everybody took serious. I mean, it was like those um, Saturday morning, Sunday morning channels they have for kids, anybody. The E slash I, educational slash informational. Well, you can put two E's. It was entertaining, but also educational and informational. Wonderful. Right. 10 out of 10. All right, man. Beautiful minds. Introduce yourself to the people. Uh, my name is Tommy Shaw. I'm from King Street, South Carolina. All right. Well, let me ask you this. What got you into acting, man? Um, Sue Ham came to Williamsburg Tech and did an audition. And people told me to go because I could sing. So people told me to go do it, and I did it, and I'm here. Okay. Let me ask you, because so many people are just really loving the message and everything about the play. Tell me some of the things that I know that you are an actor in it, but what are some of the things that you like about the play yourself? Um, really, I just love the message. Everybody accepts the message so well, and I just love it. Thanks. You see how people are responding, right? How does it feel to you to see people responding to uh, the work that you're doing, especially since this is your first time acting? It feels great. Like, just for a first time, I really want to keep acting too. Hint, hint, Suham, I do want to keep acting. Like, it's so great that that she made this story and we projecting it out to the world. Because, like, a kid just lost her life, like... A lot of people losing their lives from bullying and everything. Like, it's a great subject, and people really need to stop bullying for real. It's not a joke, like, at all. It's not. The play is great, amazing. From the top, A to Z, it's amazing. Everything we put in this play is so much emotions. We got laughing behind the scenes and everything. We really have a great time on the set, all on backstage and everything. Like, it's so... It's amazing. I love my team. That's my second family right there. I love the crew. I really appreciate them. You know, this is this play is your first time acting? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is. So, what do you think about the experience? Um, the experience was very life-changing. Um, I never thought that I would start acting at this age. I never saw myself as acting, but now Miss Sue gave us an opportunity of a lifetime, you know, and I'm forever grateful. Hey, where are you from? Um, St. Paul. Uh, so what made you come to South Carolina to see this play? We didn't know it was going to be this lit, but until we came here, it kind of lit, it been lit. It was lit? Yeah. So, so basically what you're saying is you enjoyed the play. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm um, Joe Wilson, I'm 17 and I'm 11th grader at Can't You Senior High. Tell me something about the fact that Suhan brought a play like this and she brings productions to South Carolina. The closest you might have to the art being celebrated is probably, you know, the band at Can't You Senior High. That's probably like good as it gets. So I think it's real good that she, you know, brought theater and, you know, drama into basically King Street. And it's like little old King Street. She brought all this. I just want to thank her for so much. She done brought us all, like, so close. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm basically like, that's like my second family now. And we'd all getting together, having fun, just laughing about it. And it's just, it's a good feeling. Gabe Alexander, which is uh, Journey Alexander's father in Suham stage play of Beautiful Minds. You know, we've done this before. We've done this a couple times, and uh, your acting is phenomenal. But for people who hadn't gotten a chance to see you before, please tell us what got you into acting and what gives you the passion for that. Uh, just when I was younger, I mean, my brothers were much older than I was, so I was kind of just that, that last kid at home. So I had to be creative. I had to entertain myself and my parents.